Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to share a flip through of my first completed Art of Noticing Traveler's Notebook. So for those of you who have never heard of Art of Noticing before, this was a project that was created by Allie Edwards where you uh, take a picture or it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture, but you take notice of things throughout your life and your days and document the details inside of this album. So when I was contemplating how to use this traveler's notebook, what I decided to do, and this notebook I did throughout the month of March, it's just that I just recently finished up putting in the uh, decorative pieces, so it is finally done. But in the month of March, I tried to take notice of some small detail or something that uh, brought me happiness or that I just really appreciated in life. I tried to do at least one thing per day. So this album, I actually started on March 2nd, so I did miss one day, but I did get all of the other 30 days of the month in here. So what I'm gonna do is flip through it show you guys the pictures and let you know um, let you know how I chose to decorate and also maybe you know what what that was all about so um, the inside cover was already like this and all I did was just add the month and the year and then every page after this uh, the setup is there's a square an area for journaling and then another um, like a polka dot pattern, actually I can flip to back. So just like a dot pattern on the back of these pages. So what I chose to do was to pull out my stamp sets and to go a little stamp crazy doing a patterned paper for the left side of each spread. Then to print out a photo to put in the square and just writing, handwriting out my journaling. All of my handwriting is done with my Ali Edwards Slick Writer pen. I love this pen. It is it is fabulous. I just love it. So um, that is what what my writing is done in. So uh, for this first one, I pulled out a bunch of different alphabet stamps and just made the word steps with it and then stamped it in a bunch of different colors that I felt like coordinated with my son's shoes. So this was all about my son taking his first steps outside of our home in March here in Michigan it is usually still a little bit cold and quite often still snowy outside but we had a couple of good weeks where we were able to get outside and uh, Jonah had just started walking over the like winter season so he had never actually been outside and walking down the pathway so that was this page next I did a page where I noticed um, where I noticed that it was still light outside when I was coming home from work because so often when I come home from work, it is dark. Um, so I took a picture out of my car when I was at a stop sign just of the sky being light and I used a stamp set from Allie. I believe this was the April 2019 Stories by the Month kit, uh, but it has two clouds. It has a uh, like a an outline one that says love this and a filled in one that says come on sun so I just varied that on here next I just had a picture of me and Jonah playing on the floor with dibs kind of cuddled in so just talking about that I used I believe this came from the me story kit from Allie Edwards and chose just some fun pattern or some fun colors to complement the picture that's Generally what I try to do is choose my choose my colors that will help complement the picture. So that is that one. Next we've got a puzzle that we did with my mom. I did the same thing as, as the steps page where I pulled out a bunch of different alphabets and made the word puzzle and then stamped that in a couple of different colors. Next we've got a bowling game, I believe. Let me find my score. Yeah, I got a 143 bowling, which is good for me. Actually, that's really great for me. So I took a picture of that and documented having a really great game of bowling. I used the play story stamp 
to uh, create this pattern background. These were like a flag, I think is what it was supposed to be, but I used it to create a pattern. This is probably one of my favorite pages in this entire book. I loved this. And then I did the game time um, embellishment out of stamps and pattern paper. I chose this pattern uh, because it felt really retro and I don't know why bowling to me feels retro, but you know, it works. <laughs> so that is that one. Next, I've got a sunset picture uh, from a night that I went to like a wine event with my mom and my sister. Um, I stamped out the This View in the Heart and this stamp set came from the Watch Story Stamp. And um, <clears throat> I just used it to create almost like a almost like an ombre effect, but I wanted it to mirror the sky. So I've got like the blues and then some of that tan and then some more blue, orange and blue. So I really wanted this to mirror the sunset. Next, I've got a photo of Izzy playing with Play-Doh and I just used the Made with Love. This came from the Craft Story Stamp. I did all of it in yellow and just did one in pink to, again, complement the picture, but also it really helps make that one stand out, which is really cool. Then I took the Play Story Stamp again and uh, used the Play Word just in a bunch of different, well, not a bunch, two different colors, gray and yellow, uh, because my picture is black and white, so I really like the way that the yellow, um, like, pops off the page with everything else being black and white. So this is just Aaron and Jonah playing outside. Then I've got a picture of me putting together some crafts and just feeling really good about having some time at my table. I took a square stamp from the list story kit in order to create this background and then used the word craft from the craft story stamp to make the uh, the title in the middle there. I also super love this one. Yeah. On, uh, what was this, March 11th, I took Izzy with me to vote here in Michigan. So I used um, the star, gosh, I don't know where the star came from. I know the stripe is from a, an Ellie Studio stamp. I believe they're highlight stamp. It's pretty old, but I love to use it to make uh, stripes like this. And then I just grabbed some alphabet stamps to type to stamp out the word vote. So I wanted it obviously to look like a flag since we voted that day. The next day I took Izzy to the dentist. I grabbed a picture of her on the chair and just talked about how she's got really good teeth and no problems. And I'm really happy about that because that was not me as a kid. I had all the cavities. Uh, but so this is a picture of her. And then I used the Believe story stamp to create my patterned uh, paper next to it with just a bunch of like, yes, I can and life is good and best is yet to come. Super fun. Then I used the Tough Story Stamp and I just stamped out We Can Do Hard Things over and over again, similar as before where I just did a different color in the middle to help that sentiment stand out. This is a picture of canned ground beef that we found when grocery stores did not have any meat. So uh, this, was, this was our substitute for some Sloppy Joe mix and you know, it was interesting. It tasted like meat, uh, the texture was a little different, but it worked. It was fine. And we ate it and we survived it. <laughs> Next, I've got a picture of Izzy on the slide. Uh, just talking about, um, talking about self-quarantining and just spending time together. The pattern next to it, I used the design story stamp to create. I did all of the flags in black and then filled them in with various colors. Then I used the shine on stamp set or I think it was just called Shine, maybe just Shine. The Shine st story stamp to create my title in the middle. So I love that one too. I think you guys can probably tell that I love pink and teal and yellow. That's like, those are like my favorite. The next one is a picture of Jonah hanging out in his swing. And I did Love You to Pieces from the Pieces story stamp. I used yellow and blue to pull in the colors from this photo. And that is that one. Next, I've got uh, Grow. So this all was from the Grow story stamp. And I've got Love Grows here that I did in like a light pink on the background. And then did some flowers in black with the title Grow in gray on top. So that's like a cluster here in the middle. And this was about finding a little bird egg 
in our tree and talking about you know life starting to grow and spring being here next i've got a picture of some ducks that hang out in the pond in our backyard we love telling stories about the ducks and watching them and uh yeah sometimes they are like crazy and we we say that they have duck drama and yeah it's just fun we love we love our ducks so there's a picture of them I used the journey story stamp to create my background and then uh, stapled a piece of vellum and, and stamped out the journey get lost on top of that just to give it a more defined title. For the next one, I have a picture of these cattails. So this was actually an art sculpture that is downtown. I took the kids on a walk in order to get out of the house for a little bit. And uh, this statue was, or the sculpture was down by the mill pond area in our downtown. And I super loved it because it's, I don't know, it's just quirky. It's cattails, so it's supposed to be like the plant, except where the like fuzzy part of the cattail would be, they have actual cats, so loved it. Um, and then I put blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures uh, stamped on here to make a pattern because we went on an adventure that day and that just seemed like fun. Uh, for the next one, I've got a picture of Izzy who fell asleep in her closet. I couldn't find her for like, I don't know, like 10 minutes and it took me finally looking into our closets to find her sleeping in her own closet. Uh, so I used the, I don't remember where this stamp was from, yes to this. That is one I don't remember. If you guys want me to look that up, I totally can. But yes to this, uh, stamped it in a couple different colors and added the art of noticing in the middle. For the next day, we got a game in the mail from my sister and my future brother-in-law. Uh, we're all big gamers, like board gamers, and they sent Aaron this Marvel Champions game where the main character is Spider-Man, who we love. Spider-Man's our favorite, which is why the Don't Forget to Make Time to Play is in red and blue because that's Spider-Man's colors. And then I just have that play word on some vellum stapled into the middle again, just to give it a title. Next, I've got a picture of Aaron and Izzy playing Play-Doh at the kitchen table, and I used the yellow and black just to pull in some of those colors from the photo, and it says paying attention to life's details. Then we played outside the next day, and I took a picture of Baby Giraffe, my daughter's lovey, uh, sitting at the table watching me sketch out some ideas for scrapping projects while the kids were playing. I used uh, this stamp, I believe this was called like Every Day or something like that from Allie, uh, and it just says the story over and over again. I wanted to, again, make it kinda uh, like rainbow, sort of pattern and then I, I stamped out and fussy cut out the simple joy captured. Next I've got a photo of the tree covered in snow because it snowed that night and we're now what March 22nd so see it does snow a lot in March. So we have the, the tree covered in snow and I was talking about that and I used the seasons story stamp to do my background, did the whole thing in teal and then did a red impression of it fussy cut that out and added it on top to create my title uh the next day you can see our snow had melted <laughs> so it's like weather here is nuts in the in the early spring and in the late spring in fact i don't even think we had a spring this year but that's all right so uh aaron was playing with jonah and like throwing him up in the air you guys have totally seen this picture before if you've been following me for a while now and um I am journaling about the two of them playing together and I used the uh, gratitude story stamp to, t to stamp out polka dots and then in some of them I stamped the overlay that says focus on the good and love this. Next I've got a photo of Jonah playing on his little uh, tricycle which actually was Isabella's tricycle but now it's his because he's He's, he actually is maybe even too big for it, but that's okay. He loves it. So I took a picture of him on the tricycle and stamped out teach me because he was learning how to ride it. So that is that day. Uh, this one, I used that love you to pieces again, this time doing gray and pink. I think I forgot that I already did this and I made another one, but you know, that's okay. I still love it. 
And uh, this was a picture that Izzy took. She, every once in a while, likes to grab my camera and take selfies. So she grabbed it and went over and took a bunch of selfies with her brother. And I thought that was adorable. So that was that day. Then I've got um, this picture, which is Jonah reading to himself on the chair, which reading to himself is just babbling and turning pages and it's so stinking cute. So I stamped out the sounds of life right now and uh, made it kind of a grid pattern in order to give it some interest over here. So I really like the way that turned out too. Fun. Next, I've got a picture of Izzy who made these awesome like Play-Doh faces. I thought that it was so creative. So we got that picture and I just made, I just stamped make stuff. This was from the craft story stamp yet again. Then I've got uh, Aaron and Dibs cuddling in bed and I wrote about how Aaron is always like denying Dibs, our cat. Um, any love or affection or affection like he like can't by the end of the day after after giving all of our attention to the kids it's sometimes really hard to then give more attention away to our needy cat but I caught them in bed and uh, snapped a picture because even though he denies him that love and affection he secretly really enjoys that dibs craves that from him I used the fresh start stamp here uh, which again, I'm not totally sure what set that came from. That might have been, you know what, that might have been like the January Stories by the Month kit from 2020. I'm thinking that that is where that came from. Next, I've got a picture of me holding my coffee. So this was a day that I did a chatty video. And so I was just talking about how much I love doing chatty videos. I uh, stamped out the word me and embracing my story. Um, the, these were both from the me story kit. Then I've got a picture of Dibs and Aaron working on the bed, uh, just kind of like a depiction of working from home for us and talked about how, uh, Dibs follows us around and just loves to stick by our sides, especially when we're working. Uh, and then I stamped out my brain has too many tabs open and that is from the tech story stamp. And then the very last page, I used that growing or grow story stamp again to stamp out a bunch of flowers and the word growing. And this is in regards to my rhubarb plant that had just started to like, just started to grow for the year. So super exciting and just signs of life, which, you know, now March 31st, we were finally getting some true signs of life. And that is it. So I decided not to put anything on the back uh, because you know, it's already pretty full. Uh, but considering that there are 31 spreads in here and every page has a piece of cardstock adhered onto it, this actually really held up nicely. Like I am very impressed that I was able to get that many spreads in here and not have this all like bust out. So really happy with that. I am just going to use like a a uh, clip to hold it closed and call it good. So that is the first Art of Noticing album that I have created. I know that there are not currently any in the shop. However, I believe August or September is the next release. So uh, if you are interested in documenting some things that you are noticing in your life or just some things that are bringing you, that are bringing you life, this is a great project to do that in. And so keep your eyes open for Allie uh, to announce when those will be officially released. Super, super excited for it. If you guys enjoyed this flip through, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already so you can see all my future crafty videos. Let me know if you guys did the art of noticing back in March or anytime since then. And if you did, what did you document in yours? Um, and are you going to do the next the next round? I would love, love to hear that. If you guys have any questions about anything in this album, please let me know. I'd be happy to get back to you on that. And uh, I'll be back again later in the week with a couple, uh, a couple other process videos for you. So keep your eyes out for those as well. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.